Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update. I hope that you have been uh, having a really wonderful day thus far. And so we will be taking a look at what is happening for the Caribbean and surrounding areas. There's lots of rainfall for some spots. I will also briefly look at Kelvin as well as Subtropical Storm Dawn. And uh, the main part of this video, could we see development as we're going to be heading into next week? So there are a couple of important things that I want to point out to you guys and there is some consistency with this actually happening and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update all right, so as we go over into the Eastern Pacific, there we have Hurricane Calvin and lots of activity behind it uh, closer to the uh, Central American territories. And so as we zoom into Calvin, we can see here that it is not looking as good as it did yesterday. It is a weakening cyclone, so that weakening trend has begun. However, uh, in the later frames of this, we can see some of those uh, darker colors. So uh, that indicates those colder cloud tops. So it is trying to sustain itself and as of the latest update uh, earlier the maximum sustained winds were around 100 miles per hour and the next update should be out by the time this video is posted so I'm thinking that winds would probably be maintained at around 100 miles per hour or just a slight weakening with the system but overall weakening trend is expected and eventually near the middle of next week it could make its close approach to the Hawaiian archipelago and so let's go over into the Atlantic now there we have done up there not a threat to land it is going to be loitering for uh some days and then and then uh, over in some eastern states of the U.S. and off the southeastern coast, we see some thunderstorm activity for some spots. Some of that even affecting parts of the northwestern Bahamas. And then out in the open waters of the Atlantic, there we have some of that convective activity. Now that is in association with a wave that is located off Africa. And in the Caribbean is uh, another one that has recently entered and that is helping to induce lots of rainfall. So let's zoom into the area. We're looking at the South Caribbean as well as parts of northern south america so we can see here that there is lots of activity over in the southeast there was a lot more rainfall and i saw the comments from you guys from grenada talking about the heavy rainfall even some flooding for some areas and i also saw a couple of videos as well so uh thankfully this is kind of clearing up now for the abc islands it has likely been a rather gloomy day with rainfall at times and uh, for parts of northern south america right now there is some thunderstorm activity developing and some of the activity is uh, being pushed over into the rest of the Lesser Antilles, likely bringing some cloud cover, maybe some brief rainfall as well, but we're not seeing anything too crazy as of right now. Heading over into the southwestern Caribbean, uh, especially near the coast of the Central American territories, there is a lot of activity developing for some spots, lots of heavy rainfall, and in the event of persistent heavy rainfall, flooding is most certainly possible. Let's go up further to the north. And we're seeing that across uh, some spots in Cuba, go into the Cayman Islands, also for Jamaica, most of Hispaniola, also most of the Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, some spots in Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. There isn't much happening this uh, afternoon here. So uh, there's a lot of dry air in the area that is helping to stabilize conditions, preventing any major rainfall activity from developing. As I said, when we go over uh, more to the rest of the Lesser Antilles, there's a bit of cloud coverage for some areas. So uh, that is being induced by all the activity that we see over in the east. And then heading into other parts of Central America, go into uh, Mexico, also over Guatemala and parts of Belize, there is some thunderstorm activity developing this afternoon. And so now we want to talk about the potential of seeing something as we're going to be heading into the latter part of this new week. Now, the first thing that I want to point out to you guys is conditions out there. So we're looking at the sea surface temperature anomaly map and where we see the warmer colors, the shades of uh, that pale yellow go into those oranges reds that is where we have above average temperatures and it has been uh, anomalous warmth as the hurricane season kick started back in uh, June last month and so we have seen uh, four named storms thus far five storms in total and it is likely that activity will be resuming very soon we see that most spots here are experiencing above average warming and there are some spots closer to the Caribbean and also in the Caribbean where we see some below average temperatures 
temperatures uh, so let's zoom into the area and this is the seven day change so what has happened over the past seven days and we are seeing some of these cooler colors these blues and these whites which indicate uh, the whites indicate that things are pretty much average or normal there meanwhile the blues indicate below average temperatures and I am uh, thinking that the Saharan dust is responsible for some of this cooling nonetheless it is still very warm so I don't think that's okay we're not gonna see anything develop in these pots it is still very warm but just that it has been uh, below normal uh, for some spots and as I was saying with the Saharan dust what it does is uh, it can act as a shield to reflect back some of the sunlight preventing a lot of warming for the ocean surface so we find that there is reduced penetration of those rays and as such cooling happens and that is something that we saw last year as well that's why August was so quiet nothing developed in August last year because of all that dust and also the wind shear and as we look at the latest uh, Saharan earlier map here we see that next plume coming off Africa lots of dust and dry air out there so this is going to be the pattern for some time and this is not something uncommon but let's see how much it is going to be holding out but the moment conditions are conducive enough we can expect to see some crazy activity especially as we head into the peak of the hurricane season in September and even August as well I'm thinking that we're going to be seeing lots of activity now we're looking at the rainfall total expected for the next five days so this goes out to Thursday of the coming week and where this map is more colorful when we see more of those shades of burgundies purples pinks that is where a lot of rainfall is expected and we're even seeing this pattern here as we go off the coast of Africa a lot of rainfall uh, accumulating over the next five days but as we go closer to the Caribbean we're seeing these decreased totals but nonetheless uh, this rainfall pattern with these tropical waves moving in and dumping a lot of rainfall is likely to continue uh, as we head into the next several months actually so uh, this is going to be the pattern and of course things are going to be a lot more intense should there be development and that is what uh, the ensemble members have been somewhat consistent about so we will go on to that very shortly but uh, from this map we can also tell that the euro is expecting that there will be uh, rainfall across majority of the Caribbean within this time frame uh, of course the rainfall will be higher in some spots such as some parts of northern South America and also over into parts of Central America going on to what GFS has to show we're seeing something similar here a lot of rainfall accumulating off the coast of Africa but as those waves travel uh, and encounter that dry air and even the wind shear what we see happening is that they break apart and then sometimes they try to get themselves back together as they head closer to the Caribbean and into the Caribbean and help to dump some substantial rainfall as what we are seeing now as what we saw this morning for uh, Grenada and so uh, that is what is expected guys and now let's go ahead and take a look at what has been forecast by the uh, Euro and GFS ensemble members here so based on the color of the line that is how we know the intensity that darker shade of blue represents tropical storm force winds and as we head up the scale it gets stronger and uh, we are going out to the next uh, couple of days here so there we have the forecast time and uh, we can see that uh, there we have the members showing dawn as I said it's going to be lingering out there not a problem for anyone right now it's not expected to be a problem and uh, as we're going to be heading into the end of the next week though there we have some of these members picking up on a tropical wave some of them showing that it is going to manage to uh, intensify into a tropical cyclone as we head to the early part of the following week going to Tuesday there we see the models keeping it mostly on a westward track so potential Caribbean impacts it is kind of too early to tell if something will even develop but when we see consistency that is when we really need to be paying attention to what is happening and let's go on to the GFS ensemble members and see what they are uh, expecting and so we can see that they're also showing Don Loiter and out there there we have the members uh, picking up on that tropical wave some of them expecting that it could become a tropical storm but notice how quickly some of these members are dropping off we just see these little scattered lines uh, because they're not expecting anything much and we see a few of them expecting that continuous track and intensification as the system would track closer and closer to the Caribbean so as we're going to be heading into the end of next week and into the early part of the other week that is when we want to look out for something developing and as usual guys I will be keeping you posted on all that is happening so nothing is solid right now that is important to note nothing is solid but uh, it wouldn't be surprising either but nevertheless it is always important to be updated on all that is happening at all times uh, we're 
we're heading to that time frame when we're going to be seeing a lot of activity uh, and it will be so hard to keep up with it as well especially if this season will in fact be above average as well uh, all sources are now calling for especially in the more recent updates so that is what i wanted to share with you that is it for this update if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i will respond as soon as i can and remember to always be with wise